Hey everybody, it's July 30th. This is, uh, so it's 13 weeks now that I've been growing in my greenhouse, hydroponics. Uh, it's going pretty good. Oh, Jesus. Hi, everyone. <laughs> what do you got there? We got strawberries. Mm -hmm. Aren't they beautiful? Yes. Hey? Okay. And they're going to spread out lovely. like crazy. Mm -hmm. What do you got above you there? Oh, well, <laughs> don't get me started, people. You know what I'm like with my cucumbers. <laughs> yeah, That's so a that nice one, one, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it filled out. It was sort of like this one with kind of skinny in the middle. Uh, sorry, the pump's running right now. Uh, I can actually show you that. There's a few people that were asking. So it's just a Home Depot tote. I made these uh, covers. Pretty smart idea to keep it sucked in. Just some foam. And uh, foam to cover it up so that you don't want uh, algae getting in there. Just a pump. And I've been filling that up uh, quite a bit lately just because it's hotter than a witch's tit, as Annabelle said. Oi! Oi. I thought I wasn't allowed to say that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Strike that from the record. Uh, the curly cue is going good. Uh, a bunch, ton of little tomatoes, which is cool. And I think I'll do more of these little guys next year because they ripen up way quicker than all these guys. Which are starting to come down. But like this one, I think it's been in here for four or five weeks. This guy is just massive. Weird looking, but should be tasty. These ones are starting to get red. This is the roots. You can hardly open it now. So it's just the general hydroponics nutrients I use. As you said, and everyone asks about. Just the Flora series. Uh, so I have to cover that back up. Don't want the algae in there. It's getting hot, it's bending over. Actually, speaking of hot, it's 30 degrees inside and 36 outside. So I do have this door open and this door open. Uh, here's some of the stuff I took out. Uh, the lettuce from a few weeks ago. It's dried up now. Well, it's not still going actually. And the peas that I took out, there's still some life going in them. There's some there. But it's just in the water now. It's too far. Uh, these guys are doing really well. There's some peppers here. I'm trying to figure out which one's which. Pretty sure that's the Trinidad scorpion because of the tail. And I gotta figure out because there's this one has the scorpions, the reapers, and the uh, ghost peppers. The peach ghost is coming along. Uh, more tomatoes here. Uh, lots of peppers on this guy. That's the uh, ring of fire. So those will be good. There are more cucumbers, more tomatoes. Yeah, so I'll cut this guy off. This is what the fifth or sixth just from this one uh, some habaneros coming soon I gotta take this lettuce out it's just bolted so bolted means it's it's gone to seed uh, strawberries this Thai basil is coming along bok choy swiss chard kale Basil. It's always cool to see the roots on these guys. They're so big. Looks like there's a few ants back again. I have to set out another chop. Oh, getting the, some broccoli here. You'll we'll see the arugula is going good. And my pepper cans, I've got a few of them out here. There's a few more inside I'll show you. But this is got some uh, I think these are the ghosts from the ones last year I just had kept some seeds 
is a habanero. But I'll show you the rest inside here. Okay, so inside I got a couple uh, Kratky things going here. Crazy Roots. So this is another Peach Ghost. Uh, habanero this is a yellow pe or red pepper cucumbers there's a couple tomatoes here there I just lifted them up let's see if they'll they're pretty stringy I'll see what they do and this new guy I just got this yesterday for our local plant place conveniently called the plant place the cayenne long slim peppers there's already a bunch on here uh, where were they and some here, there's a couple of big guys. They're all hiding on me now. Maybe the cat's eating them. Oh, just a couple. So for 10 bucks, I thought that, that's got to come home with me. And it's cheaper than a McDonald's meal at this point. And then all these peppers in the can are doing really well. Starting to dip peppers galore here. There's a bunch over here. And these were just seeds from the ghost and Trinidad Scorpion, so it was kind of a mixed bag. Yeah, cool to see. They're all starting to flower now. I've got a bunch of succulents too, just in beer cans. And then just some herbs for cooking with, or basil. The habaneros are they're looking kind of cool. If you're in the light, just in beer cans. So I think that's a ghost. And I put just put three holes in the bottom. So that's that. Okay, back outside. And back out. Uh, so, and these ones are just the cracky cucumbers. So there's the pickling ones. One, two, three, four, five. Just from this guy. Just in nutrients. No, he's not connected to the pump. Uh, this guy's. Uh, this is where the pea plant was. I put a pepper in here. Just getting some new leaves, but all the old leaves are not too happy. Oh, tons of green beans now. Oh, yeah, was, oh look at that size of that guy. Massive. Oh, wow. Okay, I gotta pick some green beans apparently. Always cool to see new stuff. Uh oh, trouble. <laughs> I knew she'd do that. That's what love looks like. Alright, pretty cool update. Uh, eating lots from here, which is good. Uh, sucker plants going well. I got another sucker plant over here in the corner from, from this guy. So he's starting to produce some big stuff too yeah good way to grow looking forward to those strawberries all right thanks for watching see you next week